Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk. And with this, your discretion is advised. Oh, the exit button is gone. Oh, hi! Hello. Hi. Fishing kills me. In mana. Who is that? I'll be your ideal match. Really, very, very gay her in after all. I don't know what I'm what what sign. Sorry, sign I am. What are your panties? Oh. <laughs> Fish you! <laughs> Fish! <laughs> okay, this is so slender. Ah, I'm back. me here and live with all things we get treatment for stuff like that instead of bothering other people You're not the person so what I hope that doesn't stop you from loving me I hate you actually Darn, please don't go just be close to me you're in no rush anyway right why the hell am I even here to think of something to do as far away from you as possible fuck me why would I I want to be sure that you love me. Shut up, you're getting on my nerves. I want to. I guess it's fine too. Do you have anything more useful to do than trying to attract attention to yourself? You ask. No particular reason. Go find yourself a hobby. Why? Then you'll be able to forget about your loneliness for a while. No. Have you tried? I don't want to. I don't need that. I just want to spend all my time with you. Too bad I can't say this. Don't abandon me. Nobody needs me. I won't have a reason to live. So you're free to do it. Nobody's stopping you. Well, uh, fish. We're watching. So you really do hate me. But I was pretty clear about that. Not everyone can be honest about their thoughts and feelings. I think I actually loved you, but I was embarrassed to admit it. First, try thinking about how those feelings take form. The right answer is definitely not out of the blue. Um, okay, you don't deserve to be loved for simply exist. And shake off this feeling. What about nightmares? Change when you appeared, like when you saw a happy dream. Experience the horror of reality. I woke up and was left with longing. Just your kind and caring image from the dream was just a fantasy. I had nothing to do with the real of you. I can only continue watching from a distance. Keep on dreaming. Need to tell you how painful it is. Besides, that feeling is worth nothing. Nobody ever needs it. it. Was imposed on me by the dream, and dreams are the farthest thing from you. Which means my love is fake, and yet, take off those moments when you're. I'm ready to keep deceiving myself forever. No matter when those feelings come. Or whether they have any worth. Since I'm unable to let go, I'll cherish them. Keep on loving you just because you exist. As simple as that. Oh, 
Oh, hi. Do you realize this is our last meeting, right? So what? We open for the first meeting in. I could think you're lucky. Perfect now, right? No. But oh, oh, why not? Okay, you're feeling like if you try hard. Um. Parties need to contribute to something significant. That is just a picture. We will, will still be uh, happy about it. <coughs> still have your feelings at the very last. If you're so worried about it, that you have nothing to contribute, start working on yourself. And nobody to support me. I run out of energy again. What will I do then? Love. Is that even possible? In hopes of saving yourself, you can cling to people like someone drowning as he clings to water like... Water, to water. How could I help you? How could I help you? Anything you can do to repay me? Stop relying on water, take better care of Aside from the day you are born till the day do you die. Oh, hi. I feel like I don't value myself at all. You uh, never need a person who treats themselves like a dog. No matter how much they love somebody, the person can only be given the role of a servant. Well, in a relationship, both parties should be given. Still, I can't help but... Every mistake I make, I see as a tragedy. I'm always afraid of losing people who are dear to me and being alone again. My insecurities only make others more irritated. I feel like I'm fishing for their pity. Worst thing that could ever happen to me. Problems are my fault, after all. Sure, there are various circumstances that held me hostage for most of the world. But I don't want to shift the blame onto them anymore. I'll always be the one responsible for who I become. My life, after all. No matter how bad it is, no matter how much I want to end it, it's the only life I'm going to get. Why should I waste it desperately trying to get on somebody's good side? Right. Be afraid of losing. I left them. To be honest, I'm not sure if I did the right thing. Why? I took an important step, but it's only the first of many. I need to move forward. What's the problem? Think for it. It's okay. Let's take a break. I don't want to. I get too much time to myself. My thoughts only hurt me. I know what I thought about. Love interest in the visual novel can't exist without the protagonist. What won't they do is their only reason to exist, their desire to be loved. The only one who can grant the wish of the world. The protagonist in the Roman story also needs to be But, am I wrong? Should I even follow those stupid general genre con conventions and cliches? Make the choice yourself. Do you regret it? Loneliness. Unbearable. Can I accept an ending like this? I'm not just not used to it yet. Do it for a bit longer. 
Humans can't live without social interactions after all. You're not a human. And neither am I. They're just characters in some indie visual novel. Social interactions are you and Ava. And now there's someone here apart from us. If that person behind the screen wasn't there, was near, then. Very far away, no one can feel, can feel, see, or hear them. But I can feel the presence. What does it matter? I'm breaking hard. Already broken enough. Oh, hello. I think Tori gathering my thoughts. We have no idea what's going on anymore. Yep. I love making things difficult. Oh, you're not the only, the first one who's, who's doing this. Charlotte, oh, DDLC, Omori. I like technically. Especially when I don't need to. I need to create an alter ego to express feelings. Or whether I was able to request them properly or not, I realized so. I couldn't shift the blame for all my worries. Something I need to fight on my own. But at the same time, I still. I've been waiting, I knew. Waited for so long that I knew. How it became. Of this, all the happiness I could find in the present avoided me. Returned to prophecies again and again, searching for it, but they never gave me a concrete. After all, everything that happens in the future depends on my actions. Yes, just a prisoner to my mood. My things always went like this. I'd be happy, but I always felt that there's a catch to my happiness. My world will crumble. I didn't want to live in it anymore. Even though it all started with something sinister. I don't know. I don't remember it. It always turns me into an entirely different person. Than the worries that person has at all. Although, things will also forever stay a mystery. Just to write it between black and white. The two colors I'm always confined in. And white will always be white. Like, say, magenta. They can always mistake for purple. Or a hot pink. The other way around. Who mixes. mixes up? Shit then purple. Magenta is magenta, purple is purple. Magenta is Natsuki. And purple is Yuri. Why experience any color in relative terms? Close to black or to white? It's absurd and this approach will never let me give it the right. Feels for my feelings. Can't be simply can't simply be black and white, that's why. I can't understand them. I even belong in such a colorful world. So I'm here. Everything is black and white here. Call me human? No, no, I'm just a visual novel protagonist. Female visual novel protagonist. Don't need to understand anything anymore. Just need to act. For example, act the part of your girlfriend. I don't need to feel anything for that, but. And suppress my emotions. Why? My sensations are imposed on me by dreams and the script, something that can't be real. It means they're worthless. And they are just tricks in my mind, keeps playing on me. This is me, should just disappear. Or anything happens, I'm going to. Only one picture for aesthetic dialect. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Okay, aesthetic dialectic made the English translation came together in in version. Plus, they made a arrow that points to the size of the of their gratitude. Which is not something that we also already see. That DLC says only hi. Person. Do you really see yourself as a character in a visual novel? Of course. Why aren't your lines from the perspective of the protagonist then? Thanks to your feelings, you were able to find the strength to stay human. Gave you the worst endings possible. So, you preserved the most precious thing you have. Your heart. Lonely, that's why it seems useless to you. But there's always a person who cherishes your feelings more than everything. That person is you. What does it matter if I can't even help myself? Oh my god, you really like you. Know, my heart is overflowing with sadness and I can't do anything about it. And keep on bottling it up. This is share with others from time to time. Because everyone has their own troubles. Here. Still here. I'm so happy to see you. For the simple fact that you exist. The end decision no didn't have a single choice that affected the story. Apart from one. Just to stay here and listen to me until the very end. That's what I missed the most all all this. And it's not enough to simply declare your feelings. They don't exist in the physical world. Your experiences are real, but you continue to keep them inside. Are words alone really enough? I used to take care of myself for now. Tell me again. again. And then you close on me. And then you close on me. 